you have received a letter from Delta Corporation appointing you as a management trainee. Along with the letter, they have sent you a questionnaire that you need to mail back to them. This is your first written interaction with the organization, so make sure you answer their queries honestly and accurately. It's 7 in the morning. You arrive at the Edge City Railway Station. You're excited and nervous about starting a new life in the city. You've already booked your accommodation in the company guest house. You come out of the station and walk towards the taxi stand. The first taxi driver waves and you climb in. The taxi driver is very happy to find out that you are from his hometown. He is very excited about introducing you to the city. Jay, you look a little new to the city. So I just tell you a little bit about this place. Different, different types of people here. You love the city. everyone and welcome to Liffy Learn in a Jiffy. In this session we are going to be focusing on a very important topic which is called as the first time that you are asked to rework or a work needs to be redone. What does it mean when somebody says your work needs to be redone? Often it just means that the quality of work that you have done or the task that you have just completed has not met the requirement. So in this situation, when you look at a workplace, it's very similar to a school in the terms of the sense that your supervisors are kind of like your teachers. So when they require a particular output, they expect you to do certain kind of work. So if it's good work, their expectations are satisfied. But if their expectations are not met and the task is not completed in the manner that they expect, then they want you to rework on it. So how does a situation arise where a work needs to be redone? First thing, the quality or the process that you've used in the particular task is not up to the mark and your supervisor is not happy with it. The second situation could be where a quality check is done and it identifies any particular miss that is below the required threshold. The third particular point is when your client is not okay, when your client is not happy with the output of the task and requires you to rework it. So how do you handle this or how? what are the most common mistakes that happen? The first thing is an error. This is something that is very common. It is a mistake in the process or where you have not followed the process or the technique or the method that leads to incorrect results. The second thing is omission. Omission is again a very obvious mistake where you have omitted a particular step or a particular process and the whole task ends up in a failure. The third thing is a failure where it is a series of mistakes or miscalculations leading to the entire task being a failure. I'm going to now give you a few quick and practical tips to cope when you're asked to rework. The first thing that you have to do is knowing that you have to rework. So for this a few quick practical tips are the first thing is understand where you went wrong. Understand the misses and the defects. Understanding this is the place where I went wrong and how to correct it. The second thing is understand what your supervisor or the quality expert expects from the particular task. Because only when you know what your end result is to be, then you will be able to correct your mistake. 
the third thing that you can do is talk to a colleague who has done the same work and not received a rework feedback so when you do this you will be able to get a better understanding and gain more insight as to how you can complete the task better the fourth thing is accept that you were wrong this realization is entirely for yourself and not for the others so it's a very very important step for you to accept that you made a mistake and the fifth thing that you need to do is identify where the mistake is and try to avoid repeating it in the future these are the most common tips that i can give you to cope when asked to do work prepare well get it done and make sure that you're following these steps to avoid any rework and even if any rework comes along with these steps you'll be able to handle it much better what is an interview commonly understood a job interview is a question on the session between the employer and a job candidate or is it looking closer it is actually a conversation between the two during which the employer tries to assess if the candidate is suitable for the job you may face different kinds of interviews for example some interviews are screening interviews or preliminary interviews here the interviewer's objective is to confirm if all that you have written in your job application and bio data matches with what you say in person hello hi and welcome to 361 edge interview pro aana irukattum penna irukattum anaivarkkum innikku irukkira oru poruladhara situation la velai endru romba romba avasiyamana athyavasiyamana oru porula maari ஒரு பத்து மார்க் இருபது மார்க் வித்தியாசம்லாம் அந்த காலங்க பாயிண்ட் ஒன் பர்சன்டேஜ்ல நிறைய பேர் நல்ல நல்ல ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் லூஸ் பண்றாங்க இன்டர்வியூனா என்ன அதை எப்படி பார்க்கணும் மற்றும் அது எதுக்காகிறத பத்தி நம்ம பார்க்கணும் வாட் இஸ் இன்டர்வியூ இன்டர்வியூ சொன்ன உடன் உங்கள் மனதில் இது ஏன் வைக்கிறாங்க எதுக்கு வைக்கிறாங்க எப்படி அதை ஃபேஸ் பண்றது இது போன்ற கேள்விகள் உங்க மனசுல வரும் வருதா நம்ம அதை பத்தி பார்க்கலாம் இன்டர்வியூ நமக்கு ஒரு புது விஷயமே கிடையாதுங்க நீங்க காலேஜ்ல போய் உங்க பிரின்சிபலை மீட் பண்ணிருக்கீங்களா இல்ல ஹவுஸ் ரெண்ட் விஷயமா உங்க ஹவுஸ் ஓனரை மீட் பண்ணிருக்கீங்களா லைசன்ஸ் வாங்கும் போது லைசன்ஸ் ஆபீசரை மீட் பண்ணிருக்கீங்களா இதெல்லாம் என்ன நினைக்கிறீங்க இது எல்லாமே இன்டர்வியூ தாங்க என்ன நம்ம கோபிநாத் சார் இன்டர்வியூ பத்தி என்ன பேச போறாரு இன்னும் என்னென்ன டிப்ஸ் சொல்ல போறாருன்னு அவளா காத்துக்கிட்டு இருக்கீங்களா டிலே பண்ண வேண்டாங்க டைரக்டா நிகழ்ச்சிக்கே போலாம் சார் இப்போ நம்ம ஒரு விஷயத்த தேடி போறோம் ஒருத்தங்க செய்யறாங்கன்னா பரவாயில்ல நமக்கு ஒரு உதவி செஞ்சிருக்காங்க இன்டர்வியூவை அப்படி ஒரு 